Great job by her. And we are literally minutes away as the starting lineups are about to be introduced. And it's Thrift Behringer, your play-by-play -play guy, along with Robert Evans. But tonight is a special night, so I'm bringing on a guy that you, if you follow us on Georgia Alabama Sports Live, you hear many times. It is my partner in crime, Richard Holdridge, who is also a member of the military and with tonight being military appreciation. And Richard, you're going to call several CBCC games I thought that it was uh, pretty cool for you to be here tonight, Richard. Thrift, I really appreciate you allowing me to be a part of the broadcast. It's a very special event, being military night. And you know, my military background has really helped me in my broadcasting career. I did spend eight years in a public affairs unit as a military broadcaster. Fun fact, went to the same school as WRBL's Rex Castillo. We went to the DENFOS. It's called the Defense Information School in Fort Meade, Maryland as he was in the Texas Army National Guard as a military broadcaster. And he gives that credit to his broadcasting career because they really teach you a lot of the fundamentals when it comes to broadcasting. And it was a very just extraneous, strict military school. Yeah, thank you, Richard. And we'll be talking about your career in the military throughout the broadcast. And um, just can't wait, Richard, as we continue on. Um, for another great night of basketball here at CVCC. The Pirates are eight and three on the season, three and zero at home, and undefeated in conference play. Douglas Bird has this team rolling, and they are led by number 12, Amari Hamilton, who's putting up 22 points per game. Also, one of the leading scorers, Devin Graham at 14.9. London Williams, the boss man, at 12.4. Mike Hoover adds another 11. And then Elijah Marsh with 9.5. Jazavion Moore and Marsh both averaging double digits in conference play. This team is deep, and this team is ready to win a state championship. Marion Military is 5-8 and eight on the season, 1-2 and two in conference play. They both play in the same conference. Marion Military Institute coming in here 5-8. Shout out to Ben Hicks for allowing us to be here on a special occasion. On Saturday, they have Alumni Day. And uh, Richard will be there for that one with Robert Edmonds. South Georgia Tech is who they're playing against, a rival from Georgia. Men and women's start at 2.30. So make sure to tune in right here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. Richard, what are you looking forward to in today's matchup? Well, I'm looking forward to the Pirates just getting out and running the floor. I mean, they're 8-3 and three for a reason because they do like to score the basketball. But they are playing a tough team here tonight, Marion Military Institute. Now, they are 5-8, and eight, but they are 5-3 and three at home, and this is a very important division game. And without further ado, let's go ahead and play some basketball here. Boss man with Amari Hamilton, who has the rock right now and goes strong to the basket, misses. But right place, right time, he misses the put back. And Micah Hoover throws it out to the point guard, Elijah Mars. He's the one that makes this go. Throws it out to the boss man, London Williams. 
And nice curl all the way to the rack, and Devin Graham with an and one. Nice curl, good passing, patience, and just flying in for the and one. It was the ball movement on that sequence that allowed Devin Graham to go straight to the rim, and now he's going to attempt the three-point play. Marion Military coming in today again four and eight. Their starting lineup is Nicholas Cham, number four, number one, Jonathan Crawford, number 15, Tyrone White. Those are back to Crawford. Dashley Estime, number 21, and he loses that one. And Jalen Carrington, Amari Hamilton, what a move! from the leading scorer for the CVCC Pirates with a Euro step that makes it four nothing. Mari Hamilton, 11 games, averaging 22.9 points a game. Yeah, he has been a workhorse for these Pirates. And that's gonna be turnover and out of bounds. Both teams like ramping up the pressure. Both teams like turning teams over. We saw that last night with Carver. Um, both the boys for Harris County and the girls kept it close in the first half. In the second half, uh, the Carver late Tigers and Lady Tigers just ramped up the pressure underneath the basket. Wide open is London Williams. Nobody was even near him. Nice look from Amari Hamilton. 6 nothing now, Pirates. Reverse layup, no good. Three-pointer on the way is nothing but the bottom of the net for number two, Jalen Carrington from Marion. Marsh backing down and loses the ball. Good defense. Numbers from Marion and probably should have laid that up, forced it in there. And number 15. Loses the basketball and bodies on the floor. London's got it and here comes Marsh. Tyrone Wright was the one that lost it for Marion Military. That was a good sequence by CVCC to swarm to the ball and get the possession back. And a tough shot from Devin Graham. Hand was right in his face and he airballed it. 6-3. Looking at the standings in the division, Chattahoochee Valley Community College is 3-0 followed by Sneed State. 2-0, Bevel State is 2-0, Wallace Community College is 1-0. Still early. Back-to-back -back baskets from Marion Military. And Crawford gets on the board, makes it 6-5. Graham in the middle to Hamilton, three on two if he can take advantage. Tough looking floater that it was too hard. And they're gonna call this one on the floor. Looks like it's going to be a foul on the floor. I, I thought it might have been a travel by Carrington, but right now Marion Military Institute is on a 5-0 run. CVCC went out to that 6-0 lead, but Marion Military was able to climb back in, and they cut it to one. From Marion, Alabama. Good rebound by Hamilton. He had to jump up to get that board. The Tigers from Mary Military taking on the Pirates from CV. 6-5 here early in the first half. Hoover not able to save it. And back-to-back -back turnovers gets Coach Douglas Bird fired up. It's Military Appreciation Night. You're around CV. Come out, show some support. Alumni Day on Saturday is a big one. They got all the festivities started at 12, and the game start at 2. Hoover, good defense. Here comes Hamilton. Hamilton back to Micah Hoover. Hoover, reverse layup. Tough one underneath the basket, able to make it. 8-5, stolen by Graham. Graham, Euro steps to the rack and scores. It's a good move by Graham to get the position for the easy bucket. 4-0 run for CVCC. Those transition buckets got him back up to a five-point lead. Good defense from London. They are going to call a foul on the floor. He was moving his feet. 
Marion Military Institute, five and eight overall record. They are one and two in the division. This is a crucial division matchup between these two schools. Aiden Driggers into the game. Drive, floater is good. Nice floater from Jonathan Crawford. Excuse me, not Crawford, Jalen Carrington, who has five already now. Amari Hamilton down low to Micah Hoover. Nice job. Get the defense to commit to you, and then you dump it down to your big man, Micah Hoover, for the lay. Man-to-man -man defense from Coach Bird's Pirates. Little handoff action. A good defense, and then Graham trying to take the charge. Doesn't get it. Triggers got it, and they're going to say he gets hit on the arm, and that's going to send him to the line to shoot two. Both teams exchanging baskets, but CVCC is back out to a five-point lead. 12-7 here. Thank you to our sponsors, Terry Johnson Agency, Behringer Construction, State Farm, Carroll Purdue and Master Wall. So it's the Alabama Community College Conference. And there's a lot of banners here, Richard. A lot of success. Oh, a lot. Two years ago, Definitely. they were the ACC South Division champion. They've won a lot here under Coach Mahone, Coach Key, and now Coach Hicks, and now Coach Bird. A lot of great legendary coaches here. That's a who's who's lift of coaches. Hamilton and bad pass equals and block from Graham. Block from Marsh. It's a block party out there. And that way that possession started with the turnover. That's going to be an easy lay. And a great block from Devin Graham. It really helped them get back on defense because that could have been an easy bucket. Reverse layup, and they're going to say a foul. That's going to send Carrington to the line to shoot too. But my man Jonathan Crawford getting that sent out. Pirates winners of four straight. They last defeated Coastal Alabama North 87 to 78 on the fourth. Their last home game was against Enterprise State Community College on the 30th of November. Twelve eight continue here. Continue that winning streak. Eight and three, Richard, undefeated at home. Trying to go to four and zero oh here. What well, Jalen Carrington has got seven points for <laughs> Marion yeah. Military. Yeah, number two in black scored all of them. Marsh almost turned it over. A dangerous jump pass, and nobody stops the ball, but not able to finish. But it goes right into Mari Hamilton's arms, and he. Heads is almost stolen. Number five, Tim James Jr. Good heads up play by Omari Hamilton getting the steal, gets knocked away. The possession's gonna stay with the Pirates. Up by three. The Tigers have been cutting it close. Hamilton. Marsh calling for a screen. Looking to maybe get a double screen. No single. And they were trying to force it in there to Micah Hoover. Marsh drives. Baseline up and under. Finds an open gram for three. And no good. And loose ball into Micah Hoover's hands. He just wants it more. That's what I love about Micah Hoover. The freshman, 6'7". He works relentlessly on the glass. And you're seeing Elijah, excuse me, Micah Hoover who had, is second in the team in rebound, excuse me, first in the team in rebounding with 7.2 a game. But then Mary Military answers right back with a bucket of their own. It's three-point lead with 13.30 remaining here in the first. Marsh into Hoover. Hoover trying to back down, goes up for a top and one. Micah Hoover bullying his way for an and one. 
It's a great pass by Graham, but a great move inside by Micah Hoover, drawing the foul, and that leads to a timeout. But he will go to the line to attempt a three-point play. He, nice job finishing with contact and all. We'll take a quick break. Thrift Baron to Richard Olgers, George Alabama Sports Live. Good. Welcome back here. Third Barringer, Richard Holdridge. Shout out to the producer who will be producing all games here, Torgar Isla. And um, as he's, he's making sure I say his name right. I was just calling him Torgar for such a long time because I did not want to mispronounce his so last I. name. And then, <laughs> and then finally I was like, all right. Uh, I called him Allah, and he didn't correct me the first time I said it, so I'm thinking that's it. But if you know Toygar, his sense of humor is to literally mess with you all the time. So he allowed me to say that and then finally got upset and corrected me. But we appreciate him and Chris, what they mean to us and what they mean to George Alabama Sports Live. We can't even put it into words. 15-foot jump shot is good. Knocked down for number five, Jamar Brown. Marsh, Hamilton, no good. Good defense from Graham, and Devin Graham, buckle up for Devin Graham. Take us on a ride, young man, and he flushes it home to extend the lead to six. Nobody gets back. Finally, nice job getting his hand on the basketball. Does number two, Andrew McKinde and McKinde gets a jump ball. Possession error is going to stay with the Tigers. Back to a six point lead for CBCC. Winners of four straight, eight and three overall. Nice job, spin move. And good defense. And then I think one of our guys may have tipped that in, Richard. It was close. It was close. Tim James Jr. would have been the, the guilty man. He didn't mean to do it. Graham thought about pulling it. They'll give the, ba the basket credit to Tyrone Wright. He was the closest person to the basket. And that's how it happens. Marsh getting the signal from Bird. Coach Bird, almost a bad pass. Hamilton collects it. Hamilton cross court for Devin Graham, who airmails it. Not a good shot from Graham, who's otherwise had a really good first half. Driving. Good defense from McKenday, and that's a traveling violation. Nice job. And, and that's one thing I really love about what Coach Bird has done with these big guys. Instead of trying to swat at everything, and you know we've talked about this, it could be great defense. It could have been a block. But if you swat, sometimes the referees may call a foul just because you swatted at it, and it may look like you may have hit someone. If you just put your hands up, you don't swat, they can't call a foul, or it's hard for them to. That was great defense from McKenday. And it also, they caused him to move to where he traveled. That was a very awkward shot, and that forced the turnover. Yeah, Hamilton was trying to do an acrobatic move in the air, but came up to no avail. But good defense. This end of the floor is where CVCC dominates. But they are going to get a hand-checking foul on Elijah Marsh. He obviously disagrees on that. 
You got to watch out those fouls. They could add up, especially since we got five team fouls already for CVCC. Which uh, at the college, at the community college level, in, on, in the men's uh, league, they do have two halves rather than play four quarters. So those fouls start adding up. Spin move. And not able to finish as the big guy for Marion Military, number 15, Tyrone White, the 6'9", Ford, sophomore. Obviously, he saw those long strides, and he's right now guarding Devin Graham full court. And Graham goes right by him, but then loses the ball. They are going to call a foul, but kind of surprised that they're doing a man-to-man -man defense and having a 6'9 forward stay in front of someone as fast and quick as Devin Graham. Probably not a great idea, not, Richard. Not at all. I mean, that is a mismatch, especially when you have the speed of Graham. That could just go right down the middle and drive the lane. But I think the Tigers are going to have to change up the defense. But they're staying with CVCC. They're only down by four. End of the game now, Jasavion Moore. Tim James Jr. straight on three, short. Also into the game now is John Julius Morris. And a three-pointer from Marion Military from number one, Jonathan Crawford. And they're one point from tying this game. Micah Hoover set to check in. Moore goes baseline, floats it up and in. That was a very important bucket. They had to get that. Yeah. The, it seemed like there was a lid on, on the rim. With the, some of those shots weren't going down. Jasavia Moore out of Lochapoca, Alabama. So we, we have somebody with a Lochapoca jersey in the crowd. Uh, yeah. That's uh, I know the WRBL's Jack Patterson likes uh, giving a shout out to Lochapoca. The poke away. Poke away. A lot of these guys are from the Georgia, Alabama area, some from Florida. And block. Nice block. Nice job by Hoover. Just putting his hands up, not trying to swat, hands up and. Crawford throws it into his arms. Well, his size is wingspan. I mean, he doesn't even have to jump to block it. Moore to Graham. Dumped down to Hoover. Hoover backs his way, floats it up. No good. Rebound by the big guy from the Tigers. Nice give and go, and Graham has the foul. Good roll from Tyrone White. Nice job by Nicholas Cham finding him, finding him on the roll. Graham had no choice but to foul him there. That would have been an easy bucket for Tyrone Wright. Look at the flip side with Marion Military. Nicholas Cham, who's been very quiet tonight, number four. He's the leading scorer with 19 points a game. Tyrone White, the one that's shooting now, he's putting up about 13.5 points a game and double-digit rebounds at 10.1. So he's been a double-double machine. A couple other guys in double digits is Isaiah Green and Jamar Brown. Jonathan Crawford's also putting up 13.8 a game, 17 in conference play. Jasavion Moore, straight ahead three, no good. And here comes Cham through Crawford's hands. Tigers could take and, a lead on this possession, but they give it right Yeah, back. It, uh, he was, I think he was trying to throw it to Tyrone White, but Cham was in the vicinity, and it goes right between both of them. Tim James, Amari Hamilton, Jasavion Moore, Devin Graham, and Micah Hoover, the five out there for CV. Thrift Barringer, Richard Holders here for George Alabama Sports Live. Hamilton. Good job by Mari. Tim James underneath the basket and a dunk for Micah Hoover. Nice pass by Tim James moving the ball, and that's how you break down the zone. You move it around quickly side to side, 
That usually leaves somebody open, but then Nicholas Champ comes back with a turnaround, fadeaway, 15-foot short corner jumper. And it's still a one-point game. Well, the Tigers did a good job trading baskets there. Hoover's got 10 points, but they responded with a basket of theirs. And now Nicholas Sham. Hamilton gets fouled. Still a one-point lead for the Pirates. Mari Hamilton, sometimes unorthodox, but he knows if he has a size difference on him, he yells mouse in the house, they give him the rock, and he just backs down the smaller defender, which he did right there and gets the foul call. First free throw is good for Mari Hamilton. We're live on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube. Like us on Facebook. Eight minutes left till halftime. Third Behringer, Richard Holdridge. Second free throw is no good. And three-pointer from Crawford is it's the other side of the backboard, Richard. Let's see if the Pirates can get a transition bucket here. Hamilton, good defense from Crawford for Marion. And Devin Graham! I think gets a tech. Get, he'll get a tech for holding on to the but rim. But man, did he take off. And not able to finish the dunk. You know, he's a very explosive player. Very. His, his NBA game reminds me of Derrick Rose, Russell Westbrook, that likes to explode to the basket. And that's really when, when you have hops and your, your athletic ability allows you to do that, you take advantage of it. But right now, Jonathan Crawford is going to shoot this technical. Yeah, tough. Tough play for Devin Graham. And if you're Coach Bird, you want him to be aggressive and take it and try to dunk it. But well, you got to let go of the back, the, the rim once you once you try to the dunk attempt. And Jasavion Moore comes out. Checking in now is Amari Wilcher from South Carolina, North Augusta, the freshman guard. Tigers have a chance to take the lead here on this possession. Good full court press by the Pirates. Hoover guarding Crawford. Here comes Cham to the rack. What an acrobatic layup from Nicholas Cham. And gives Marion Military the first lead of the game, Richard. Nicholas Cham has scored the last four points, and uh, they have gotten the lead, a one-point lead for uh, Marion Military. James loses it, but collects it, goes baseline and scores. CB back on top. Big bucket there for the Pirates. Cham open for three, and now my man Nicholas Cham, the leading scorer, is starting to heat up, Richard. Got seven points. And he scored seven straight. Since I said he was quiet, he has been on a tear since. James sets. Tries to bank in one. Aiden Driggers gets the rebound. Three-pointer deep for Crawford is short. Here comes Wilcher. Has numbers and then forces a bad pass to Micah Hoover. And then gets a foul on the other end. As Jalen Carrington was the one that was driving. Marin Military right now, their largest lead of the game, up by two. And we're going to take a break. 6-19 remaining. Marion Military leading CV 28-26 on Military Appreciation Night on George Alabama Sports Live.
George Alabama Sports Live back here from CVCC as the Pirates are down by two. Jalen Carrington set to shoot two free throws and look at the sign. That is awesome. It says ref missed a call. And it's a it's a phone. It's a smartphone. Uh, it's got the ref missed it. Now that that is a fan right there. Nice job. Absolutely. Creative. I love those creative signs. Second free throw is no good. Makes one of two. And Tim James. And they call that on number 11, Jamarion Ezel. Look at that defense by Marion Military. And Devin Graham goes right by them, and Devin Graham initiates contact and gets fouled. You know, Devin Graham, his speed to the basket, I mean, that's hard to stop. Yeah. I mean, Mary Militech could try to trap him with a full court press. He's just going to get right by the defender and just drive to the basket. There's a reason why Coach Bird is high on him, and he likes his team. It was 8-3, and three, undefeated in conference play, looking to go 4-0 at home, 4-0 in the conference with a win here tonight. Checking in now for Marion Military is Dashley Estime. Graham misses both free throws. Nick, Marion Military from Marion, Alabama. I remember playing them during my junior college days. Three pointers up, no good. Jasavion Moore, but it goes into the hands. That's a clean block. Jalen Carrington, and he gets blocked by Amari Hamilton. Nice block from 12. It got all ball. He came from behind. He did not get any contact. Clean block. Three-pointer in the corner is good. Nice job knocking down the three-pointer. Dashley Estime and gives Mary and their biggest lead of the game six. Javion Moore being guarded by Estime, harass, and just Javion Moore dribbles out of bounds. I'm not seeing a lot of energy from the CV team as Marion's got the momentum and they lead by six. CV needs to start waking up. Moore out, Marsh in. It was good defense by Dashley Estime that forced the turnover. Cham being guarded. Here's Nicholas. Drives, Hezzies, and it's blocked by the rim. Jump ball. And Arrow says CV basketball. London Williams also back into the game. We haven't heard much from the boss man. They've been just a little bit of a scoring drought. They've got to get back in this game by getting a big bucket. What offensive player are they going to draw up here? Hamilton misses a cutting Williams. Now they give it to him. London backing down, throws it up to Marsh. Marsh drives to James. James back out to Graham. Then to London Williams for three. Short rebound. James no good. Not a great possession from CV. Nicholas all the way, too many steps. Travels. Nicholas Cham had the right idea. That basket won't count. It's going to go back to CVCC. Douglas Bird's wondering why my man Tim James didn't shoot it from five feet away. Instead, of threw it out to Graham. Now it's going to be two man action between Marsh and James. Marsh spins, Marsh finishes. What a shot. Much needed bucket from number one in white. Athleticism to get that shot off. 
Three-pointer is up, no good. Here comes Marsh. This is where you get a transition bucket. Marsh, nobody stops ball, but Cham rips it from him, as I was saying that. And numbers for Mary Military. Tyrone White loses it, collects it, throws up a wild shot. Huge defensive stop by CVCC. I know it's got to make Mary Military coach pretty upset on that one. Yeah, that would, would have been an easy bucket for Tyrone Wright. He just couldn't handle the pass. It allowed the Pirates to get back on defense. Marsh. Feels like he has a mismatch with the bigger White. Joan James takes it, misses. Williams gets the rebound and puts it up and in. Right now, CV, they're getting points by just working the glass and being more aggressive towards rebounding. And they cut it to two. They've been cleaning the board, second chance points. And good defense from Hamilton going straight up. And number five, Jamar Brown from Mary Military loses it. Coming in the game, it's number 13, Julian Whitfield. Also, Jonathan Crawford checks in. So Nicholas Cham and Jalen Carrington are getting breath, being breathers. Josevian Moore is also back in the game for CV. Marsh. Looked like he got that blocked. He wanted a foul, said he got hit on the arm. Good defense. To the rack, no good. London, good rebound. Shots just didn't go in for the Tigers. That was a good <coughs> drive to the lane. And Jasavion Moore goes right past the Mary Military defender with an in and out move and finishes with the left. Tie game. That's how the Pirates claw back into this game. They were down by six, now it's tied. White setting the screen. Crawford. Drives, and wild shot by Whitfield. Straight on three is good from Jamar Brown of Marion Military, and it gives them back the lead. Back and forth they go, last two minutes of the first half. Marsh drives, corner, Moore sets, connects, no. Loose ball, it goes in the hands of Tyrone Wright, who throws it up ahead and not able to finish, but a late foul call. Number 21, Estime, was the one that took that in. And they're gonna, Coach Bird is pleading his case. How do you call that? That was, that's a tough call right there, Richard. It was a hard angle. It, it, it could have gone either way. But they called it a shooting foul. And SMA makes the first. SMA's got six points. The sophomore from West Palm Beach, Florida. Mary Military, five and eight overall, one and two in conference play. By the way, we will be live tomorrow for Pacelli taking on Christian Heritage. Pacelli got a big win against Bethlehem Christian. Nice dump down, and they're going to call a block. Graham probably Slow give up just up a, a that touch sooner. That's an easy lay for Hamilton. Gave up a little bit later, did get foul, but like I was saying, tomorrow night, Christian Heritage, the number one team in 1A. Taking on Corey Black and his Pacelli Vikings. We'll have it live at the land at 7.30. Richard, you will be at Northside as Northside takes on Spencer, rematch of last year's um, boys' championship game. The girls of Spencer um, had a really good season last year. Northside made it to the championship, lost to Carver. So looking forward to Coach Woods taking on the Spencer head coach, who just slipped in my mind what her name is, but she's a really good coach. And then on the boys' side, Coach Quintavious Allen taking on Greg Johnson. Get that all on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. It'll be a great matchup of high school basketball on a Friday night. And nice job getting the bucket from Tyrone White, the big man. Marion up by six. 
Let's see if CV can go on a little bit of a run here to end the first half. Two-man dump down Hamilton. Hamilton missing open more, but goes all the way himself and really wanted the three-point play. It was a good move by Amari Hamilton, the 6'6 sophomore, just going in and drawing the foul and going to the line to shoot two. Let's see if CVCC can close out this half with less than a minute to go, and they're down by six. First free throw's good from Hamilton. Busy week, Richard. We've This will be six straight days of basketball we've called. From Monday, Glenwood. Tuesday, Pacelli. Wednesday, Harris County, Carver. Thursday, today, CVCC. Tomorrow, Pacelli, Northside, and Spencer. Saturday, Pacelli and CV. Six days of basketball. Incredible. Now, I can't guarantee you we're going to have six days of basketball all season long. We will be dead. We'll be really tired. Nice pass from Cham. How about that vision? Dumping it down to Jalen Carrington. And every time CV scores, Marion matches him. Javion Moore throws it too late to Micah Hoover. Good job by Tyrone White. Right getting back. Shot clock is off. They're holding for the final shot. Coach from Marion is calling an ISO for Cham who's being guarded by Moore. Chan, spin move, but misses. Hoover's got it, they got time. Can they score? Hamilton loses the ball and can't finish. An unbelievable turn of event. For one, you had two on one, you didn't give it up. You did miss the first shot, get your own rebound. Nobody's there and you come up short. And that's pretty much how that first half went for CV. They're down by six, it's George Alabama Sports Live. We'll be back after this.
Susan Penrose Organization of Americans Franklin, Coach Hicks, and Coach Chen to center court. And give Nixon North Carolina, please. All right, so now we are going to announce our 2023 Military Appreciation Game Day Hero Award. And this year's recipient is Coach Jimmy Chen. Thank you so much for your service, ladies and gentlemen. 
They're 0-3 without him. A very entertaining first half. Yeah. Two really talented schools in, in conference play. 40 to 34. Night start of the second half. George Alabama Sports Live. Oh, good defense. Partially blocked by number 12, Omari Hamilton. That's what CVCC has got to get. They got to get a defensive stop. They got to go down and get a quick bucket. Hoover misses. Hamilton good job comes in Hamilton. for the rebound. Hamilton stuck. Got to get rid of it. And then a timeout by Coach Bird. He Hamilton. Was triple team. Yeah, well, he was too far underneath the basket. He really couldn't get do nothing with it. And with that, we already got ourselves our first timeout. We'll take one here. George Alabama Sports Lobby back after this. Welcome back here. 40 to 34, Thrip Barringer with Richard Holdridge. Richard, we appreciate your service. We appreciate what you do with Georgia Alabama Sports Live. You've been in the military for over 20 years. It's unbelievable. I appreciate that, Thrift. Yeah, and I, I, you know, I, I just, I love just being a part of Georgia Alabama Sports Live, and I appreciate you letting me be on the broadcast. London Williams is not, I don't think he scored today. And then he scores right there. Speak of the devil, it shall happen. He does have six points. He's had uh, mostly posts of buckets. Carrington, Estime, three-pointer. No good, rebound Tyrone Wright. Crawford's got it. Crawford back to Tyrone Wright. Good hands from Marsh. Wright said to throw it high or alley-oop it. I don't think I disagree with him. He, he did throw that high, Richard. They, he's probably going to finish that. His right is the biggest player on the court. He's averaging 13 and 10 for Marion Military this season. Marion Military 5 and 8. Estime. Chams has it partially blocked. Good Short defense. anyway. Good defense, Richard. Yeah, that's what the Pirates need to do is get a big defensive stop to come back into this game, only down by four. Hoover to Graham. Graham outside the boss man who is short again. And using enough leg from 23 and White who is scoreless on the day. Not used to saying that. Excuse me, he does. He does have six. I don't know why I said scoreless. He just scored, but he has not hit a three today. Well, I still like the play call. Devin Graham going all the way inside, collapsing the defense, kicking it out to the three-point shooter. Well, just CVCC has just got to get a defensive stop so they can get a transition bucket. Well, London leads a team in threes with 19 on the season. He's shooting 43%, and he's 0 for 5 here today. Well, this, with this percentage, uh, his shot should be falling down. And great defense from CV to force the shot clock turnover. That's what you do when you play tight defense, you force a shot clock violation. You know, they're going to have to get the shot off. But if you're constantly in the face, aggressive, without fouling, uh, that's how you force a turnover. Wow. Nice that, job. He, and London, you speak of him, he starts – participating in the scoring, and now it's a two-point game. And then stops the bleeding as Crawford to send it back to four. Yeah, nobody was protecting the, the post. 
That was easy bucket by Crawford. I would just keep on feeding it to London Williams. I mean, he's he's been Marsh good. tried to force it in there to Hoover. Again, tough pass if he, even if he was able to catch it. But I would have thrown that up maybe for an oop, where only Micah could have gotten it. Instead, he tried to force it low, and the hands it went off the hands of Hoover. It was a hot pass anyway. White probably got away with the travel there. Crawford misses. Good defense by London Williams. Staying with his man. Now a transition opportunity. And Amari can't hold on to it. Just sloppy basketball right now from both teams. Loose ball. <coughs> Estime with a behind the back. Estime, he loses it. Just, I mean, a lot happening right now. And finally, after all that chaos, Crawford finally gets <laughs> fouled. I mean, Richard, we had three turnovers down here. We had a couple down here. We had wild shots, and then it ended with a, a foul. And that's really just trying to regroup, just focus on, on your game and some offensive plays drawn up. Crawford's got nine. He is the leading scorer for Marion Military. Makes one of two. Oh, that was a costly turnover, but it doesn't matter because it's uh, going back to CVCC. Tyrone Wright, a little too much on that pass. Forty-three to thirty-eight is your score. Marion Military Institute on top. Staying with it. Oh, nice pass. And just not able to finish, Richard. Yeah, that, that would have been an easy bucket. He just could not finish. Crawford steps out of bounds. Didn't see where his foot was at. And not a good job by Crawford. And that's a turnover. If you're CV, you got to go back to your bread and butter. Dump it down to the big men. And Amari and Hoover. And let them play two-man game. Williams got to hit some threes. Or, and then you can even play a two-man game with Marsh. And they're going to dump down to London. Or you could drive the lane with Graham. And then there's Graham. There's many options, but I think their best option is get to the big big guys in Williams and Hamilton and Hoover. Got to find an easy bucket. Williams forces up a tough shot. Good defense from Marion Military. Does stay with CV. Checking in now for Marion is Jamar Brown and Aiden Driggers. What Marion Military is doing is they're collapsing on defense. They're forcing up bad shots because they're able to have a good defense in the post. CVCC has just got to take advantage of that. Got to. London gets it, turn around, floater. Finally move. gets the shooter's roll. Coming up a bent gimpy now. Looks like his right ankle. London Three Williams. point deficit for CV. Chams blows right by Marsh, but he blocks it. What a block. London Williams has got 10 points for the Pirates. I spoke about him being quiet, and he's had all his points here in the second half, it seems like, eight of the 10. Still hasn't hit a three yet. Nice job by Marsh. Driving, getting the foul, and he's going to shoot two. They have a chance to cut it to one. Been able to come back in this game. They were down by six at the half. Marsh makes the first. London, we hope he's okay as Josavion Moore checks in now. And if you look at the banners, Richard, from Coach Key in the 70s and 80s, you see the championship 70s, 80s, and 90s. To then Coach Mahone, you see the championships in the – 2000s and 2010s, and then in the 2020s been Coach Hicks and now Coach Bird, who has made it to the Final Four, made it to the big tournament when he was at South Georgia Tech in a community college in Florida, Douglas Bird. 
He's won everywhere he's been, and I don't expect anything different. He's got CB off to a pretty good start, 8-3, and three, undefeated in conference play. But they're having a tough time here, down by one, 14-33 remaining here in the second half. Well, looking at all the games that they've played, especially here at home, they, they, this has been their biggest challenge. Yeah, they haven't had much problem dominating teams, as you've seen here on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. And that's Amari Hamilton guarding the guard, Jonathan Crawford. Look at the big man guarding him 30 feet out from the basket and great defense from him. Estime gets tripped. I'm going to say Jasavion Moore tripped him. Tim James Jr. in, Elijah Marsh out. Marin Military is leading by one point with 14-19 left to go. Oh, he's got to get it off, he's, otherwise you get a five-second violation. Crawford almost had that one stolen and travels. And lost his footing. So CB has a chance to take the lead their first since the first half. And they led majority of the first half to the last they did. two, three minutes of the of the half. Graham to Moore. Graham's going to drive the lane. Up, oh, kicks Tim it out. Tim James Jr. for three, in and out. Gets his own rebound. Nice job following Mrs. Hoover there, and he finally finishes. Work in the glass. If shots aren't falling right now, they don't have many threes to CV. All their points come from second chances at the rim, and rebounding has been a key feature of why they've taken a one-point lead. Tim James Jr., though, gets a foul. It, that whole sequence started with Devin Graham driving the lane, then kicking it out to the three-point shooter, and then them boxing out, getting offensive rebounds. Micah Hoover, he's got 12 points, and CVCC has a one-point lead. We'll take a break. It's George Alabama Sports Live here for CVCC Military Appreciation Night. Be back after this. Welcome back here, Thrift Badger. <laughs> My guy, Richard Holdridge. We have fun, man. We stay busy, but we love what we do. And uh, coming up in two weeks, we got the Muskogee County Christmas Tournament. Richard, you'll be there for the semifinals on the 19th. I'll be back from vacation on the 20th when we do an all-day seventh place, fifth place, third place, and first place. That's eight games in one day, all eight Muskogee County schools in the Muskogee County Christmas Tournament. And that looked like all ball. I can't believe that was a foul call. I can't believe they called that a foul. And then the next week we got Border Wars, Calvary Brookstone and uh, excuse me, Calvary Brookstone and Glenwood will play in that, along with other private schools around Alabama and Georgia. That'll be at Glenwood. We will be the semifinals. I don't know where the place it will be. Maybe Carver, Spencer, Northside. I don't think they they pick it. Um, but we know that the place games on Wednesday will all be at Columbus State CSU next Wednesday. We got an important day. We're going to be talking with. Athletics Director Ben Hicks from CV, and then we're going to be talking with Coach Moore and Coach Hauser from CSU. So we're going to touch on local college sports around here and give them the exposure that they deserve, Richard. And we've got some good college athletics around this area, not just here at CVCC, but at Columbus State. And it, it's NCAA Division II. The good product. I mean, you, you got college basketball. I mean, I remember what – you know, I, I went to a college, it was an NAIA school, but it was very competitive. And I remember, you know, seeing great players that, you know, good product.
Nice job by Graham, not able to finish. And the loose ball is one, and look at Tyrone White for an easy flush. Right place, right time to throw it down. Now it's back to a three-point lead for the Tigers. Graham shaking and baking, drives. Graham floats it up and in. Nice job by three and White. When you need a big bucket, Devin Graham just drives the lane and floats it up, and they now cut it to one. Well, I thought, they look like that was blocked. And Savion Moore comes up with it. Numbers Moore to the rack and almost gets it and one. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. I did like that move by just Savion Moore. Just taking it himself, the nice finger roll. The, the, the roll just didn't quite go what he wanted, but he's going to go to the line to shoot two. And CVCC has a chance to regain the lead. It's really been a back and forth game. Both teams haven't really gotten out to a big lead. One of those games that could come down to the wire. He misses one of two, and we are tied. CVCC on defense, hearing it from the crowd. See if they can get a defensive stop. Oh, and he took too many steps. Yeah, yeah. Nice job getting the turnover. Wright's looking like, are you kidding me? He did take an extra step. I know he was trying to make a move to the basket, but he still had possession of the ball, and the ref's going to call that just about every time. Yeah. London to Moore, Moore finishes. Nice finger roll. Good touch on that shot as well. Pull up jump shot, it's short. Hamilton rebound, here comes Moore. Moore loses it on the floor and because no one had possession, Coach Berg was not allotted the timeout. And jump ball is going to stay with CB as they're up by two. I tell you, when you're playing defense and you're causing the other team to settle for mid range jumpers, you're doing your job. You're giving them contested shots. Those shots are, are usually a, a 43% shot of going down. London. Gets fouled on the arm. And the measuring stick, when you have these two teams that are trying to feel each other out, the measuring stick is the points in the paint, using your post players. But if you're settling for mid-range jumpers and threes, you know sometimes they'll fall. But when you go on a scoring drought, the other team could take advantage with transition buckets going the other way. London Williams leading all scorers for the Pirates with 11 points. And all in the second half. Great job making both free throws there. 51-47. CB up by four. Baseline. And they're saying Jamar Brown gets fouled. We get Micah Hoover back into the game for the Pirates. So you got your main post players, Hamilton, Williams, Hoover. That size down in, in the post, rim protectors. Done a great job on defense. Three-pointer is up, no good. Hamilton has the ball knocked out of bounds. But I like that sequence because that three-point shot was contested. CVCC is flying to the ball, so every shot is going to be contested. And that's what they got to do is get defensive stops so they can close out this game.
Good anticipation by Micah Hoover. Swatted away, but it's gonna stay here with Marion Military. Three-pointer up, short, rebound Hoover. Here comes Graham. Graham. He's gonna drive the lane. Oh. Out to Williams. Williams spin move and banks it in off the gloss. It's a great job by Graham to drive the lane and then kick it out to Williams. Now he's got 14 points. CB up by six. No one stops the ball and a finger roll for Nick Chams and a timeout. Marion Military, but CB leads by four here on George Alabama Sports Live. Welcome back here. CV has a four point lead here in George Alabama Sports Live. Give us some stats, Richard. What do you got for us? Well, the leading scorer for the Pirates is London Williams with 14 points. You got Devin Graham, who's got eight. Micah Hoover with 11. Jasavian Moore with seven. For Marion Military, the leading scorer, you got Jonathan Crawford and Nicholas Cham, both with 11 points. Traveling violation on London Williams. But so far, I've been impressed with the defense by CVCC. They've done a good job holding the leading scorer, Nicholas Cham, who comes into this game. He's averaging 19 points a game, and he's only got 11 so far. Oh, that's a nice move by Cham. And nothing falling from Marion Military. Another mid-range jumper that just doesn't go down. London Williams for three, no good. And here comes the Tigers on the fast break. Tyrone White, touch pass to Chams. Good defense from Moore. Chams and one on Amari Hamilton. Nice job by Nick Champs. Gives him 13 on the night. Back and forth they go here at CV. Sophomore out of Queens, New York, and a lot of, lot of basketball history coming from Queens. I mean, there's a lot of great players in the NBA played over there, went to go play at St. John's. Well, I'm thinking of a college team in the 1980s. Bobby Crimmins recruited a lot of players from New York to go play at Georgia Tech. Moore. Pass to Williams. Nice pass. Good cut. Perfectly timed pass. Back to three. Leading scorer for the Pirates with 16, London Williams. Deep three is short. Rebound Amari Hamilton. Another Way to miss. sky for that one. Another missed three by the Tigers. Hoover working, not getting it. Hamilton. Hamilton. They're going to call it on the floor. They're calling that on Estime. It seems like both these teams, 
they've been going back and forth. Nobody has really gained control of this game. Nice pump fake and finish. Mari Hamilton gets the defender off his feet and finish that one with ease. It's only seven points for Hamilton, the leading scorer. Estime, no. He averages 22.9 points a game on the season. He's had a quiet night, but his teammates have been getting involved. I mean, really that balanced scoring is just giving your team that confidence to try to close out this game for the win. Moore. Being guarded, crossing over. Throws it out to Hamilton in the corner for three. Air mails it, just nothing behind the arc. Going down for CV in this one, but they lead by five. Crawford drives, Crawford gets fouled. First three is good. First free throw, excuse me. Nicholas Cham has got 14 points. Second free throw is good. Makes it a three point game. Moore needs to get rid of it, he's trapped. And a timeout, timeout, Douglas yep. Bird, nice timeout. Not a good job by Josavion, dribbling right into the trap. 30-second timeout, so we'll stay here. Thank you to our sponsor, State Farm, Carol Purdue, one of the biggest insurance agencies in Phoenix City. Call her for a quote. Terry Johnson Agency, one of the biggest in Columbus. Thank you for both their support, Behringer Construction, and Mashwell for all exterior and interior wall needs. Give Masterwall a call. Thank you to Grant Smithwick. Thrift Barringer here with Richard Holdridge, Georgia Alabama Sports Live. 8-15 remaining here in the second half in a closely contested game between the Pirates and the Tigers of Marion Military. Moore drives, Moore blocked. Close to a goaltending, but good block from, from right. And a rip from just Devin Graham, who dunks with authority. Couldn't get the names out there, but blocked by Tyrone Wright. Stolen and pickpocket from Devin Graham that leads to a flush. And Chams misses the floater, but right there to clean it up. Moore finishes, no, Hoover there. Doesn't finish either. And Marion's got numbers. Crawford all the way, no one stops him. And we have an injured player, London, coming up. Look, really got hit in the face. Back to a one-point game for CVCC as Marion Military has gone on a 4-0 run. They, they've just been running up and down the floor. They've been taking advantage of misses on the other end. Very close contested game so far. Elijah Marsh being guarded by the 6-9 post player from Marion. Full court at that. Graham. Hezzy's Graham finishes. He's just, he flies in there, Richard, blows by everyone. He's so quick, first step is elite. And he's got incredible explosiveness to the rack, but so does Nick Choms. And it's a one point game. Trading baskets right now are both teams. Very similar games with Nicholas Cham and Devin Graham. They, they finish at the rim. Almost a turnover. Moore. D 
Deep three from Marsh. Nothing there. Hoover rebounds. Hoover stolen. Here comes Crawford. Bodies on the floor, and Hoover gets a foul. Both these teams have been trading baskets. They've just been going and back and forth and same similar style of play. Yeah, and Coach Bird right there is pleading his case to Devin Graham. Excuse me, Elijah Marsh. You have a 6'9 post player on you. No matter how athletic Mr. Tyrone Wright is, he can't stay in front of Marsh. So instead of settling for a three, blow right by him. And now Coach Bird needs to talk it over with him and coming into the game is Amari Hamilton. Graham gets the rebound and goes out of bounds. Huge possession here for the Tigers. CVCC has got to get a defensive stop. Good defense from Graham. I would make him work the shot clock here. Estime drives, Estime. That was Cham, excuse me, misses. Pass to Devin Graham, who pump face gets fouled. Clear out foul. It's a great job by Omari Hamilton on the other end to rip that rebound away and with the quick pass and trying to get the transition defense transition offense all the way to the end of the court. As the Pirates trying to extend this one point lead with 5.53 left to go here in the game. This has been their toughest challenge at home so far in this season, eight and three on the year. Hamilton. Coach Bird calling out the play. Moore trying to shade Crawford. Bad pass from Williams. Graham's able to get the loose ball. Graham drives. Graham finishes strong. Huge bucket. Nice job from three. And extends it to three. You know, he's got 14 points, but there are six of those points were huge clutch buckets for Devin Graham. Crawford shakes, Crawford blocked. Graham, numbers for CV if they can take advantage. What a move from Jasavion Moore. Fake pass, Euro step into a lay. Timeout, Marion Military and CV back up by five with five left here on George Alabama Sports Live. Welcome back here, last five minutes. Hoover, Hamilton, Moore, Graham, and Williams are the five out there for CV. Crawford, Wright, Chams, Carrington, and Estime for the Tigers from Marion Military who are in black, CV in white. Harrington, Crawford, deep three is good. Cans that one. Big bucket for Crawford. It gives him 11 on the night. Graham. Defense. 
Good move from London Williams, oh. and one. What a play. From the ball span, spin move, contact and all. Big bucket from 23. That's how you respond after Crawford gets a big three to cut it to two. Just feed it to the big man, London Williams. Yeah, is an opportunity for the and one. Get it back to a five point lead with 431 left to go in the game. And finishes it with the free throw. Nineteen points for London Williams all in the second half. Nice pass and turnaround jump shot. No. And Tyrone Wright, who has been there all night cleaning up the misses from the Tigers, keeps it within striking distance at three. More quick crossover to Graham. Hamilton trying to get one to go from three. No, rebound more, puts it up and in. I guess you don't need threes when you can get second chance points like that, Richard. Absolutely, just save you more, getting the offensive rebound, nice putback. Blocked by Hamilton. Oh, and that was all Paul, too. Nice job blocking Crawford. Moore thought about shooting it. Probably got fouled right there, didn't call it. I would let Graham just drive the lane and kick it out to your shooters. Graham. Pulls up on a dime and doesn't hit anything. And Coach Bird is mad after that shot. Other end, Carrington, short, rebound, Hoover. Hoover had to jump up to get that one. Timeout, CV. Coach Bird wants to talk over it. We'll take a full one, too. Terry Johnson, HC. State Farm, Carol Purdue, Barringer Construction, Maxwell, all sponsors for this game. Be back after this, George Alabama Sports Live. Welcome back here. Last three minutes, 2.53 remaining in what has been a great back and forth game between the Pirates and the Tigers, CVCC and Marion Military Institute on Georgia Alabama Sports Live. The grind never stops. We got games tomorrow, Pacelli and Christian Erdrich, Spencer and Northside, girls and boys, boys only for Pacelli. Then on Saturday, it's alumni day here. Men's and women's take on South Georgia, starting at 2.30. Oh, maybe that's two. I have to. And Hamilton, reverse layup. And the Pacelli boys play at 2.30 against Valdosta. All in Georgia, Alabama Sports Live, and there goes Graham. And Graham's gonna go all the way with ease. And CV starting to strengthen their grip on this one. They're up by nine. Back-to-back -back turnovers and buckets from Hamilton and Graham. Choms, what a move, my goodness. Acrobatic shot. Holy smokes, we have seen some athletic plays at the rim from both teams here tonight. Another timeout, we'll take one too, Georgia Alabama Sports Live.
Welcome back, Thrift Barringer Richard Holdridge. Seven point lead for CV. Two minutes remaining. Marsh. It's like they're just trying to run clock. Moore, left-handed floater, no good. You're right, they were trying to just waste clock. Got a good shot. Right, up ahead to Choms. Tyrone to the cutting Carrington and it goes off his leg out of bounds. They needed that bucket there, Richard. So now CVCC can put it away here, I think, with another big bucket. Let's get a three-pointer from London Williams or Elijah Marsh or Graham. That's how you close out games. Just give it to your closers. But I think that they're going to start fouling. They're going to start fouling. Yeah. yeah. CVCC trying to go to nine and three on the year, four and zero oh in the division. Still, still a minute left to go. Marion Military Institute has, has got to hope for some misses at the line and try to get some quick threes or quick twos just trying to come back into this game. London, and someone says that's a one of one and London drains it. He's had a very good night, 20 points. Yeah, and I, I say that because Majority of his points come here in the second half. London was had a quiet first half. Second half, he, he put it on. Graham's got 15. Moore adds another 11. And then Amari Hamilton had a quiet night tonight, the lead scorer. He only had nine. But an overall great team effort and good job. Turnover. This is where they got to draw up a play. Just, just give it to your quick yeah. guards to, to avoid getting fouled, just to run off some time off this clock. And there goes That's Graham. How Good you pass. Do it. Absolutely. Other side. Hamilton lays it in, and that Perfect. should do it. That is how you break a press. Nice pass from London Williams. That is not how you play defense on the full court. And Graham takes off and had numbers, dumps it down to Hamilton and finishes. But then there's a foul on the other end. Julian Whitfield will go to line to shoot two, down by 10. Good job putting this game away for the CBCC Pirates. We're going to have a quick interview with winning coach Douglas Bird here as soon as this game ends. Richard will wrap it up with the stats. While I get Coach Whitfield, I mean, excuse me, Coach Bird. First free throw is good. He almost went across the line and still hit the free throw. Offense for defense now for Marion. Choms is out. He may be done for the night the way he's shaking everyone's hand. See if they start fouling. Nope. London's got it. London's just going to let them get fouled. And now we're going to play the foul game. With 41.1 seconds, but they're going to play the foul game. That that could that could last five, six minutes. Yeah. It, I mean, it's, they're going to keep playing offense for defense. Put their two defenders out, bring on the two guys that can score. And Jamar Brown and their leading scorer, Choms. Champs. Well, well, this is a three possession game. Williams does miss the one if one. That's exactly what Barry and Military wanted. They need to get a quick buck if they want to get back into a good defense from Devin Graham. Brown drives. Brown has it stolen. What a play from Devin Graham. Passes it to Hamilton. Hamilton gets it stolen, gets it right back, and lays it up and in. That was strength right there. Hamilton staying but with the But what play. about the block? Oh, I mean, just stole it in midair. Devin Graham just took it right from him. Crawford lays it up and misses. Wright's going to put it up and 
But that's going to do it. 12 seconds remaining. I don't even think they're going to foul anymore. Well, it's going to go out of bounds and stay with Marion. Richard will give us the stats for the game here as soon as the game's done. Three border from Crawford. No good. And that will do it. CVCC remains undefeated at home. And they go to 4-0 and in conference play, 9-3 and on the season. I'm going to go get Coach Douglas Bird. Richard will do the stats for the game. All right, thanks, Thrift. The leading scorer for the CVCC Pirates was London Williams. Most of it was in the second half. He had 20 points, followed by Devin Graham, who had 15 points. Amari Hamilton, he had 13 points. Jasavia Moore had 11 points. Also, Micah Hoover had 12 points. For Marion Military, the leading scorer was Nicholas Cham who had 19 points, followed by Jonathan Crawford, who had 16 points. Tyrone Wright had 14 points. As the CVCC Pirates, they'll be uh, getting ready for their game on Saturday. Taking on South Georgia Technical College. as they look to continue to be undefeated at home. Douglas Bird now <laughs> goes to 4-0 in conference play, Coach. 4-0 yes. at home, 9-3 on the season. What would you see from your team? You had a little bit of a rocky first half. Didn't hit many threes tonight, mm -hmm. but it didn't matter because you attacked the glass and a big win over Marion. Well, I told them it, it was going to be a tough game. Marion is on a, uh, I think they were 0-3, a uh, three-game uh, losing streak, and we were on a four-game winning streak, undefeated in conference. They wanted to come in here and spoil that. Now, I told them. We can't take them for granted because Marion, actually, I believe, is the best shooting team in our conference. Yeah. If they're on, it could be some problems. Right. And we were able to first half with kind of, you know, Ali Frazier, tit for tat, and then we were able to kind of get in front and kind of do some things that we like to do to kind of, you know, defensively. Not offensively. Offensively, both teams were going to do very well. Right. It was to win this game, it was going to be who was going to be able to make the both stops, who was going to be able because they were going to get a run. I know we would get a run, but who would maintain defensive stops down the stretch? Yep. And, and you we were did able to do that. Great job, Coach. And, you know, Amari Hamilton, your leading scorer, had a bit of a quiet night. He ended up with 13, but London Williams came on with 20 points. Uh, Devin Graham, I mean, that guy's got the quickest first step I've seen in a long time, Coach. So talk about those two guys stepping up big for you tonight. Well, I, I can tell you, Devin Graham is, I think, the best defender, not only in the state of Alabama. He literally took the ball in midair, Coach. Yes. Come on now. I think he's the best defender I've seen all year. So I'd say he's the best defender in the country. He's long, he's lengthy, he's bouncy. Um, he got a long wingspan. Um, he really was, he did everything for us. Only thing he did uh, that I, I dislike today, went down the stretch, he, he got by his guy and then he pulled up a jump shot instead of getting to the rim where he's been successful all night. I literally was just about to say that, Coach. How do you get your guys, because in today's game, People want to jack up threes, but when you're Devin Graham and you got a six foot nine post player and who's a pretty good defender himself, but nobody's seen in front of three from your team, how do you get them not to settle for those three point jump shots and take it to the rack? Because that's where they're better off. Well, threaten them. <laughs> hey, you come sit with me and learn to be a future coach. Um, London has really come on. London is, wow. 
Uh, he does a lot for us. You know, London plays almost every position. Yeah. We ask a lot out of him. We ask him to defend the usually the tallest or the biggest guy in some cases. Uh, if, if, you know, switching with Micah, uh, London shoots the ball extremely well. London is a special kid, uh, uh, unrecruited kid. Yep. I was just fortunate to get the job late and, 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 and knew of him and, and was able to get him laid. And uh, I'm grateful to be able to get him. He's going to help us a lot because he's going to be able to stretch the floor and also give us a uh, driving lane. No doubt about it. And I was really proud to see him. Great game. Coach, where were you? Where'd you coach at for the majority of your time? Oh, I've been around. But what, I, what's one particular place you've coached at, though? South Georgia South Tech? South Georgia Tech would be. And by, and by the way, be, and yes. the reason I asked you that, Coach, trying to set you up, but that's what we play on Saturday for yes. Alumni Day. So update everyone that's going to be coming to watch or watching wow. online. What should we expect with that matchup? Well, um, that's my former assistant coach. Uh, he's doing a great job over there. Um, it's going to be a dogfight. Uh, yeah. It'll be exciting. Um, both both squads will be ready. To, records don't matter right no. now. No. You can throw those out of the door. Um, it's always been a home and a home. Um, it's kind of a rivalry. I think that's what, who's going to end up being our rivalry out of state yeah. will be South Georgia Tech. Uh, they have some talented guys. They're long. They're athletic. Uh, they really shoot it. Uh, they're defensively sound. We're going to have our hands full, but I, I would say, hey, come out uh, 4 o'clock on Saturday. You guys would enjoy yourselves. We're going to have festivities. We're going to have uh, food trucks. It's just going to be a wonderful place to be on Saturday, so come out to CVCC, um, enjoy, and have fun um, um, watching two teams really battle. I love learning from this guy, Coach Douglas Bird, legendary coach, and he's got this CVCC men's program rolling. It's alumni day. Festivity start at 12. We've got food trucks, a lot of fun. 2 o'clock is the girls. Boys start at 4. Coach Bird, congratulations on the win tonight. Thank you very much. And we will see everybody on Saturday as CVCC takes on South Georgia Tech men's and women's here on Georgia-Alabama Sports Live.